In this video, we will show you how to start your first criminal record check application. Your secure online club records can be accessed via the whole game system. Here, you can monitor your club's criminal record checks, safeguard and education, and first aid qualifications. You can see who has an in-date CRC check, that's one less than three years old, and who needs a check renewing and who needs their first one. You can find out more about accessing these online club records by talking to the club secretary or contacting your local county FA welfare officer. Only people who work with children need a check, but if you're not sure exactly who needs one, you should read through the CRC guidance provided on the FA.com's safeguarding pages. If after reading the guidance you're still unsure, contact FA Checks at the FA.com. In these videos, we refer to the people being checked as applicants. This is because they are applying for their check, not because they are new to the club. Even when people are applying for their second or third check, they are still classed as applicants. You must send all applicants a copy of the online applicant guidance you received when registering. This will include the organisation pin and secret word. Once the applicant has received their guidance, they should go to www.gbg.onlinedisclosures.co.uk and register their details. Once registered, they should fill in the online application. Most people find the form straightforward as messages appear if the applicant makes a mistake and these are accompanied by help text. If they require extra help, you should point them towards the guidance available on the FA.com or ask them to email fachecks at the FA.com. Proving identity is a really important part of the CRC application process. It's the only way the police can be sure they are checking the correct records. The applicant is required to select a minimum of three suitable forms of identification as part of their CRC check and the application system will help them work out exactly what they need. Once they've completed their form, they will need to meet you so you can see and verify their identity documents. This is called a verification meeting. When arranging the verification meeting, you should make the applicant aware they should preferably bring the forms of ID they chose in their application. Certain identification documents are time sensitive and this should be taken into consideration when planning the verification meeting. For more about verification and submitting the application, watch video 3.